smartphone as your daily planner or your gaming device or a social outlet. But does someone in an abusive relationship, it's a lifeline. He got so mad and he started choking me and my son woke up and he was crying and that did not stop him from keep, come, keep going. No, oh, it would have made me even more mad. Yeah. A domestic violence survivor remembers that one night particularly well. I eventually uh, managed to, you know, run out the house without shoes. And uh, I run to the neighbor to ask for a phone so I can call the cops because he had took all the phones from me. Joanne has a complicated relationship with phones. She said it was a way for her ex to monitor her. It was a tool of control for years. A lot of people are depending financially from their abusers. Until she finally separated from her family plan and got her own phone. If you've ever tried to Royce. change your cell phone. Yeah. Royce, I found it. Thank you. I, f I found it. It took a minute, but I okay, found it. Right after this. Sir. <laughs> Number or your cell phone plan. You know how incredibly challenging it can be even without an abusive relationship. But add in domestic violence and it gets exponentially harder. That, though, is about to change. The Federal Communications Morning. Commission is set to vote Wednesday on landmark new guidelines that will force cell phone providers to be more responsive to victims of domestic violence. Part of the Why safe is it their responsibility? The so my cell phone bill is going to go up $6 a month because women don't know how to pick good men. Yeah, maybe your responsibility was to make sure dinner wasn't cold. Yeah, Do you have, We all have responsibilities in this relationship. Yeah, but what does that have to do with Sprint? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> will mask calls to domestic violence hotlines and shelters from cell phone bills, make it easier for victims to separate from their family plans, and provide new low-cost phones for men and women who need to escape a dangerous situation. So that if way, when you call like a, a domestic violence shelter, it'll like in the phone, it'll say totally not a domestic violence shelter. Right, 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 right. It'll say Pizza Hut. You know, it'd be funny, though, is if it really did say Pizza Hut. And then the, he beats her because he's like, are you ordering pizza? Hut? You know, I like Domino's, bitch. You know, I like their boneless wings. <laughs> just beat the shit out of her. God damn it. <laughs> Living through really unthinkable circumstances and suffering quietly with domestic abuse. It is hard to pick up that phone and call someone. And it's doubly hard. If you know that there's going to be a record of it, that your abuser will see. Jessica Rosenworcel, the first woman to ever lead the FCC, has been shaping the new regulation. Oh, good. A woman's leading the FCC. That's cool. Relations with input oh. from advocates, including those of the National Domestic Violence Hotline. Are you safe to talk right now? Which makes. No I'm sorry, but I could just thinking with all how bad the government's run. You call you call the National Domestic Hotline. And you get this. <laughs> yes. Please stand by. Your caller, 456. Your estimated wait time is 27 hours. A lot of other women are bad at picking potential partners. So your time may be more than expected. Your expected hold time is 4 hours, 37 <laughs> minutes. We're sorry you're having trouble. Please hold, and soon we'll dispatch a police officer to come and shoot you. <laughs> and your dog. <laughs> For no reason. Oh, God. Poor <sighs> poor woman's dead already. Yeah. Yeah, she's yes, dead. This is Jamal. I am with the United <laughs> States government. God damn your it. Movie protection. My husband I just will... smashed a vase over my head, and yes. he's beating me with a hammer. Yes, I am very sorry finished. you are having this problem. I know <laughs> if I was getting hit with hammer, I would not be having a good day. Let me please look into it. First, may I get your uh, full address? And is this phone number associated with you? <laughs> Can I speak to a supervisor? <laughs> okay, but when we are finished here, may you please stay on the line for a brief survey to tell them how well I did? Okay, yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Wr write your address on machine and send picture. Uh. Cops will be on way. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is really fucked up. Women are getting... We guys, really seriously, like stop hitting uh, people. Stop hitting women. <laughs> Cut it out. It makes for hilarious bits. Domestic uh -oh. violence is pretty funny. 
Oh, fuck. For like 50% of the people, yeah. 90,000 contacts each month, more than a million each year. And most of those victims reach out via cell phone. You know, I think about when I worked in a local shelter. Yeah, that's how most people reach out. A woman out, coming in period. with her kids. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a landline? Who's getting beat with a landline? <laughs> the fuck? I'm going to start crying. Wait to be <laughs> Man, I swear to God. Look, I'll, if there's one thing right now, I'm going to warn you. I, I I get very violent when women start crying. Oh, fuck. I cannot control it. Oh, shit. A woman coming in to the shelter with her children and the cell phone being the vehicle that she would use to look for a job, to call the local clinic, to be able to communicate with her kids' school. We have to be able to have the ability for her to do that safely and privately to protect not only- But before that, can we have like a pick better husband hotline? Maybe, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, make better decisions hotline. Mm -hmm. And you know, cause here's the problem is look, look men that be women obviously are fucking terrible. I, I understand that. No one's on the Whoa, other side- Whoa, why you gotta come at me on the air? Nobody, <laughs> nobody's on the other side of that except Virgie. <laughs> but that being said, there's a lot of these people that I've known in, per in my personal life, right? Where a lot of these people date these I can fix some guys, you know, who already there's red flags everywhere to begin with. But they kind of like that he's a dick. They kind of like that he's dangerous. Of course. And they like the validation. They like when he punches a hole in the drywall because it makes them feel like. Right. He loves me you know? so much. He's willing he's to so kill passionate. me. He loves me so much. He's willing to mm -hmm. kill me. Yeah, that's that's what we want in life. That sounds great. If you want that, that means Israel really loves Palestinians. Date Marilyn Manson. 